The last couple of weeks haven't been particularly productive, but uh, as you can see behind me here, I've managed to join the two halves along the top section, um, and I've got all the bulkheads in, so all that's left to do is um, close the bottom in and uh, get it all glued up. So that'll be a pretty, uh, pretty big milestone. So the hull's starting to look pretty good now. I've managed to join the two halves, uh, which was quite a fiddly, complicated job. I've glued the two solid foam end pieces on, and I've started the fairing. Um, there's a fair bit more of that to do. So what I've got to do now is fiberglass the two solid foam end pieces, uh, patch up some of the delamination, and then finish fairing and paint, and I'll have a main hull. So getting there slowly. <music> Nearly 12 years ago, my older brother Dan and I built a uh, more traditionally styled 30 foot proa uh, that we intended on sailing home to New Zealand. Uh, that didn't really go to plan, um, but I've actually got a whole lot of footage from that trip um, and the build of the boat uh, that I found recently on a hard drive. So my plan for the next couple of months, um, along with the update of this boat, is to make a series on that trip um, and the build of that boat. So yeah. Here's the first instalment. <laughs> In December 2006 we moved out to our parents block on Bruny Island and set up camp um, and started to build the 30 foot proa Pukaroa. We pretty much broke every WHS rule in the book during the build uh, but, but there were no injuries we'd already built the armor which is the smaller of the hulls in, our, in the basement of our house in Hobart Bit of an eye opener for us uh, Kiwi boys living in the Aussie bush with giant spiders and snakes and all sorts of critters pulling around. By Christmas we'd done quite a lot of work so we had a couple of days off but our expected departure date was sometime in March so there's still a lot of work to be done in a relatively short amount of time. Yeah. 